just gonna wait at 20 seconds until my issue is over. Well, and please don't say things like that. It sounds like you're doing um, R-rated activities. And if it's only 20 seconds, good job, dude. You must be very good. <laughs> but welcome, guys, to day two of TNDL buddy season. Today we have WBSC DCL gamers versus Team Never Give Up. Uh, Team Never Give Up has got the max time penalty for being 25 minutes late. So they have only 20 seconds in their reserve time. But at least they're banning out things really, really quick. But uh, the reserve time is definitely going to hurt them in their draft. On the other hand, WBSC DCL. Oh my god, dude, we need to find a better way to... Let's just call it West Bengal Gamers. Yeah. West Bengal Gamers have banned yeah, out Nix and DP. Uh, NGU did play their opening game yesterday against uh, Team Toxic Jazz. And unfortunately, there also they were having some disconnection issues. So um, their carry ended up DCing quite a few times. They played really well, despite the fact that he DC'd a lot. Um, they did put up a lot of comeback uh, efforts and nearly took the game, but then a few mistakes here and there. And well, also playing one man down for a long time can't be easy. So they ended up losing that game. But hopefully, this time. Um, They'll have all five throughout the game and can put on a good show. Opening with the Shadow Shaman pick. And the response to that is a lion from West Bengal. So, Mr. Verlin Bade, what do you think about Lion Daxia opening? Uh, okay, so some kind of bug. I can't even see the heroes. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna reconnect once. Sure, bro. Sure. <coughs> so, Lion Daxia opening. So, the thing I really like about opening with your offlane is that now you can target ban. See, oh my god, the reserve time, dude. 10 seconds of reserve time left. 8, 7. Oh boy. This is why you need to show up on time, guys. This time penalty really, really, really affects you. Especially, I mean, at least this is only a group stage game. But um, we got to be punctual if you don't want to suffer through this drafting stage. Then again, if you come in with like a preset draft and you're ready to just pick your heroes, <laughs> you have 25 minutes of grace time. You can just chill, go drink some coffee, you know. Log in slowly and come just in time. But Shadow Shaman Dark Willow opening. Nice heavy disables on their team. The Dark Willow is also really nice against the Darkseer lineup because uh, when you have a Darkseer lineup, you want to be running into fights, right? You want to you wanna throw a shell, you want to throw some surge, you want to keep like running at people. Uh, but the Willow is there with a the fear, with a bramble, and just really annoying to play against. So nice pick up from them, but this does open up like all the core bans now. So West Bengal gamers know that they just need to start banning cores. Uh, never give up on the other hand, since they see a Darkseer, they start banning some mid heroes they don't want to play against. Odi, of course, is the nice, the nice uh, save from Shadow Shaman. I mean, nice. Oh yeah, never mind. Just a nice. Um, oh yeah, nice save from Shadow Shaman. So that's probably why they don't want to play against that thing. And maybe they have some PTSD uh, against some previous OD lineups. Five seconds remain. My bay, but like both of the teams like have picked up like a one hex hero already each, and th this dog series with into the lion, it's not gonna be the same lane, but the team fights might be really good. With the vacuum and the earth spike ground stand, it's uh, really deadly. But then they really need to think about like another stunner, I guess, to lane up with the dog here. And whoever who can make sure to like make the good use of the ion shell, and just like that, here comes the earthquake from the West Bengal gamers over here. 
Yeah, Earth Spirit, Daxia, very annoying to play against. Daxia with any any melee support is really, really annoying. So one thing I like to do with Daxia plus any melee support is, you know, you can you can go and you just say, hey, buddy, you know, put a shell on me. He gives you a shell and then you go farm neutral creeps for him while he farms the wave creeps. It's so much gold, dude. And if you have a stun on top of that, like, any support caught out of position is just instantly dead. And the nice thing about Earth Spirit is he's also a gap closing hero. So he can get on top of heroes very easily. Very annoying to deal with. He has a silence, he has a slow, he has a stun. Uh, he has a roll, so he's going to be on top of you all the time. Nice, nice draft coming out from West Bengal gamers. On the other hand though, never give up, do have heavy, heavy disables. You have, uh, you have Burrow, you have Hex, you have Shackers, you have Bramble, you have Curse Crown stun. So, nice, 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 nice picks all around. Yeah, but it will be really hard for only the Earth Spirit to go and initiate first over there since the Burrow Strike and the Hex from the Shaman will be it will be like it's super instant so he needs so, to be very fast with his yes uh, mr silence, Valen, like, but oh, let me tell you this push. thing which is a very important thing to know if you're a position four hero and mm -hmm. you're going in and you're forcing a burrow strike and uh, the counter hex and all these spells onto you that's excellent because you're doing your job and you're baiting out these spells so that's why it's so dangerous and that's why earth spirit is one of those really annoying post foes where you have to react, you can't ignore him, but you don't want to react on him because you want to save your spells for like the life stealer or the other, the mid player, you know what I mean? So, yeah. my argument to your point is that it's good that all these things happen, you know? That's why the Earth Spirit is a good pick, as opposed to you saying that, you know, oh, he'll easily get hexed or easily get stunned. Oh, Mirana from the Never Give Up. It's quite of a weird pick over here, but we have already seen a lot of uh, mid lane Mirana in like a past patches and all, but I'm not sure like, if it's really good like this time around. Uh, like, they have been rushing up an Aghanim Scepter in the mid, but is it going to be enough though? But like, he can change between the magical as well as the physical damage, but uh, it's going to take up a lot of time as well. The, the Aghanim Scepter is the first item, it's going to take a lot of gold. And well, that that's a good ganking potential is not that, that reliable. Maybe with the SK, it might be possible, I guess. So the thing I like about Never Give Up here is that they can uh, flex their picks a little bit. Uh, they can try to put um, like a, a mid shaman, in the mid a mid willow. Mean. Mid, no, I don't think. I think between us, I think Mirana is probably a better. Mirana, the nice thing is you can go magic or physical, right? Because uh, of the shard build now, people play build shard and go like some shard diffusal. She has a mana break talent. She has crits on the shard. Uh, shard gives extra leap charge. So it's all really nice. But the problem with it is the leap cooldown, right? Leap cooldown is too long. It's like 40 seconds, I think. Or I mean, I guess it drops to like. 30-ish or 20 something but it's still too long for a spell that you rely on to be doing your damage and that you rely on to escape as well so i mean but it is interesting this is my favorite part about dota you know the flexibility and that kind of stuff uh but do you think they actually like consciously picked up the mirror now here i think it got random before them since they don't have the resort time. Um, <laughs> honestly, I wasn't checking <laughs> the, the timer. Yeah, it may have like, ran. Like the cancer guy from the NG, he was like, well played, well played. So I just think like maybe they didn't pick it, they kind of forgot it and it's got like random. But still fine, right? Is this pick over here? I mean, it's not great, <laughs> for sure. But I guess if they don't have a choice,
seen up a lot of bat rider players as well. Probably gonna be go going for the mid. Testarosa picking up it. West Bengal gamers. Um well I guess we'll come to know who's gonna play the mid in the NGO as soon as we are into the game. The all, with all of this trap over here. So Kenny, um, uh, which trap do you like the most over here? And who do you think he can like win easily? Dude, the thing is, for me, the draft that's easy to execute is the nicest, you know? It's, you don't have to complicate things. And for me, that, that draft goes to the West Bengal electricity department. So, <laughs> gamers. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like it's very simple. You know, you have a surge, you have an ion shell. You have a Daxia, you have an, I mean, you have a uh, Life Sealer, you have an Aspirate, gives it to them, serves them up. You have a Lion for Disables, you have a Bat to pick off a target. Simple, simple, easy, clean. Damn, some heavy stats coming out from both teams. Luna and Bathrider. Mm-hmm. Wait, oh no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> they already had a lot of hit like at yesterday's game, but whatever we'll go we'll go with the introductions over here. So here, NGO the raiding team. Control is playing out to a Shadow Shaman, Maddox on a Mirana, Agent P is playing on a Luna, Cancer on a Sand King, and finally Belay on a Dark Velo. Now coming back to the Diet Team West Bengal Gamers, the Dark Seer player is playing Dark Seer, and Leo Sira Swam 07 is playing on a Slice Stealer, Venom is on a Lion, Esterosa is on a Bat Rider, and finally Adripta on a Earth Spirit. So I'm just gonna keep on saying that this guy is like a dark seer player. So sad. So it seems for the radiant Marina. He's gonna go for the mid. After all, he went queued up for a bottle. So Mirana versus Bat Rider matchups. I think I don't think like Mirana would, would be even dying in the lane. She has like a leap her escape mechanism, and even the Bat Rider might have it hard with the Starfall maxed up. Sorry, Star Storm. Okay, Star Storm maxed up. But like a bat rider, he can form where super fast. He got like a flash form potential comparing to a Mirana over here. But he needs to wait his items, like some boots of travel or a blink dagger, until maybe if he if he can like get up a potential power rune with a haste or something or even envy rune, he can go and gank up the other lanes. Whereas a Mirana, once he gets up his level six, he can make uh, advantage of the moonlight shadow. And he can even pick up some power on as well. And with the help of the SK and the other disables in his team, he can make good use of it to get up a early, lots of early kills. And since the, it's, since it's one of the heroes which got random for them in the draft with a early penalty, so uh, they need to make sure some somehow to work out Mirana pick for them. Gonna start up with the boots, brown boot for the control shadow shaman, and even the Oracle has a boots as well. Whereas ASK doesn't even have a tango kind of. Oh, <clears throat> okay, so it's gonna DC over here again. Into you. Uh 
And I really like the initiations with the diatim which they have right now. They have a chaos spirit, bat rider, and even they can do some counter initiations of back him into wall of replica spells. And they can they have a life stealer who can infest to the people who's been diving towards the back lines. I think they have it everything balanced so far. Even the AOE. Have a lot. My prayers are answered. Boys, we seem to be eating into pause time quite a bit. We'll just cut into our uh, team intros. Uh, never mind, we won't cut into our team intros because Agent P is back. <laughs> Let's taking a quick look at starting items. Uh, Sand King has no regen on him, HP regen, but he has started with a bracer. Maybe you're gonna use the extra 1 HP regen plus tower HP regen. I love seeing new like mm -hmm. new builds on players because I always feel like you know anything can work if you have like an idea behind it. Oh, just swiffing the stun a little bit uh, there, the arrow also off the mark. You do have a shackle. Batrider yeah. is getting some napalm stacks. Earth Spirit coming in to try and turn this around maybe. But I think they're just gonna drop this, yeah. A little bit of miscommunication, a little bit of spells missing, but it's fine. Nothing nothing too major. Could have been a first blood, but not too much lost. Everybody heads back to their lanes, don't lose much regen. Um, nice arrow to secure the range creep at mid. Twitch.tv Maddox is doing a good job with the last hits. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be easy lane for like the Dark Willow if he wants to go on a harass on top of the right of the top of the line. But look at the Luna, he TP towards the top. Um, wait, why? Okay, so he's just gonna go with the lane swap or hair cancer. He's gonna TP towards the bottom as well. So Dark Willow will be his lane partner with the Luna right now. And I think it, it would be a really good lane for him. He's gonna fight against a melee hero, but guess what? Leo, he's gonna TP towards the bottom as well. He's just gonna force this dog seal all the way against this Luna. And it's like the dog seal player is back to a stop over here. But maybe is, it, is the air is gonna TP as well? Oh, okay. Life Sealer is in a bit of trouble at the bottom over here. The base damage do have the Shadow Shaman who's gonna help him. Adito is there with the roll. <coughs> To save his teammate over here, but is he gonna die though? That's how a borrow stack you want to use it. Cancer, uh, 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 he used it right under the tower though, so it's not gonna towards the seal spread kill over here. So, the first of uh, the first blood is still not gonna be ensured for any either of the team over here. And yes, but is already forced to go back to his fountain to region, I guess. No, oh no, never mind. I just went to get his courier. And Mirana, already starting with a good CS at the mid. Uh, like the bat rider, usually he needs a little, a little bit of extra levels of the sticky napalm so that he can deal a good amount of base damage when he's trying to do some CS. And just like that, some mad dogs is making sure to take that advantage. Just in case he already skilled up a leap, if something happens like bad for him, a uh, cocktail, that's a, too much damage. He has like a six sticky nape on charges right on top of the mirror now over here. So, will he actually die? He's gonna use up the firefly just in case. Esterosa gonna go dive under the tower. Bought with bottle charger, but with the one right leg, it can actually miss. Oh my god, Esterosa, he managed to kill up the mirror instead. I really thought. He can actually manage to kill the bat rider, but he already took one one U turn all the way from the trees, three lines. But he didn't check out the uh, sticky napalm charges at, at his top, and it kind of 
You know my thing's on. I don't remember the first blood. For the diet team. <laughs> and you see him see one lion. He did, and he's supposed to come to the bottom over here. Now they're doing a tri lane. And guess what? Even Billy, they will they will like to do so as well. Venom gonna get caught up by the Shacker, but there's a fall of the brown base. Not gonna connect on anything, but then Venom he walked towards the one, one more brown base all by himself and connected him dead. SK he's gone down for 20 seconds, but then a drifter they're gonna man fight onto this one though. Control had the other shock level 2 other shock and managed to kill up the SK, the offliner. And then Control looking for a return, another kill maybe? No, Lysela already having it very hard in the lane. He <laughs> he definitely don't wanna play in a tri lane where the Luna has been farming all all the way solo towards at the top lane. I guess Doxy here. I mean this guy he's a he's a range hero. Doesn't have like a lot of um, you know like the range, but still Doxy if he if he plays this real smartly, he can actually try to get a kill on this Luna as well. The help of the vacuum maybe but then cancer he's already forced to jungle i guess he's at the ancient camp already farming it with the sandstorm are they mid Asterosa? are they gonna die both oh my god that's like uh, it's like it's some kind of like you know mexican roulette so both of them dead by right clicking each other or they're the mad mad after Asterosa. Once again at the, at the top, since Luna has been having a wonderful day over here, they want to try to make the mess, uh, mess up his farming part and for him. But even Cancer, easy to save his teammate, but then, nope, the level 1 burst strike won't be enough for him. Control with the TP at the top. Uh, Bad Rider finally reached up his level 6, but he yeah, has lasso, he can actually try to catch up the shaman if he want. Use of the flame drake with the extra sticky nipple charger, the damage would be too high when I'm looking for a health pack, but yeah, he would do manage to use it right now. He's trying to look, give this kill for Estorosa and do manage to take, them, uh, take that one as well. Now Luna once again forced to TP towards the bottom of her agent P. is like, oh my god, let me take the safe lane already, and just like that he's back to his safe lane. So Leo, so might as well change the lane again, I guess. But then Adripta is gonna walk towards the bottom, might as well look for a potential kill. Yeah, like a maxed up boulder smash. New damage might be high. But life stealer, he maxed up the feast. It doesn't like like a it doesn't look like a like you know like fighter type of the life stealer where he would max up the gold frenzy and pick up a orba corrosion. But then it's gonna casually form around to this. Alright, hey, hey, Stone, Estrosa, once again, gonna gank up towards Luna. Oh no, he just got respawned. And Estrosa already, it doesn't have a lasso though. He's gonna go right on top of the Luna over here. It's gonna have lots of sticky napalm and the slow from the Rider Ripta. Would be enough to make sure to get a kill on this Luna over here. Billy did his best to slow slow things around the curse count, but it's not gonna be helpful either. So with that one kill, is he gonna go back though? But Maddox with the TP, he's gonna land up his arrow though. Flame break gonna deal up a lot of dps damage right on top of the dark willow but it seems a fight has been done on the top two people with the lion has been dead and even he was at the top is he gonna die though nice maxed up shadow run from the dark willow do manage to get the <coughs> kill on top of the red drifter so yes we're gonna go down as well belay making sure he's gonna ruin the game for the die up with all those three kills earlier it's gonna reach up his level 6 by faster. You know, like he's not gonna get the tome. Alright, at the mid, arrow, not gonna connect. Did his best though, but the sticky napalm is not gonna even make him to rotate his head even a little bit. Rest of us are. But it has already an earth gonna give him a little bit of charge. Uh, but they actually gonna look for a kill at the mid, I guess. But no, Adripta, he's gonna make things for Luna way more, I guess. Gonna steal his XP with a vision right around the, ju the jungle. And Adripta, he's gonna go for it. But no, he'll report with his Invi rune over here, Mirana. 
Oh, at the top. Shaman is having a trouble with the dog seer player. But the max up and the level one point of the vacuum do manage to get that support kill over there. <coughs> Picked up an arcane boots. And even Lion, he is gonna go for a four stuff instead of blink dagger. Maybe he's gonna be like a team player. Not gonna go for any sophisticated items. Not that the, not that Brad, not that great for Luna, but still at the top of the series. <coughs> the help of his Moon of Glaives. But he really needs up a lot of st stacks if he needs to get back into this game. Top. Like this Earth Spirit, he's been constantly honoring this Luna like wherever he goes. But then they already have a ward over here, so Luna will be staying up aside. But then at the mid, Lazo connecting on right out of the mirror now here. But he needs to deal a, a little bit of amount of damage. But then Arrow, is he gonna connect? No, the creep, it, 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 it was in the, it was aside. So no way can land that Arrow. But still, if his firefly is still up then much as damage I as he can on top of the melee over here. Finally managed to get the kill onto the dark below. The three killing spree has been ended. And it seems the dogs here has been dead at the top. Cancer do manage to use the epicenter for a great cost to kill their half laner or the diet team. And he'll be happy with this like two brazer build. Okay. I haven't seen this one a lot. I've, I've seen people like rushing up a veil of this or even going for an initial uh, initiation item as a blink dagger. Or even yesterday we saw like a one booster trap. Oh, Darcy is just not TVP2 towards the bottom. A snake serpent award has been dropped down. Borosai not gonna cut it. It's a level one Borosai. But still doing his best. So, but nice vacuum into the wall. As if they're trying to cancel his TP as well, and he's uh, literally under the tower vision over here. So, Sand King, there's no way to escape out of this one. But wait, Sand King, he can actually try to get a little kill onto the side. That's pretty. But it's gonna go down as well. Really nicely done by him. I think this is where the two bracer actually really helped him out a lot with that extra HP and us. Wait, who died now? Mirana died. Esterosa. He somehow killed that Mirana at the mid once again. Didn't have the lasso though, but still he managed to do so. <laughs> so lots of aggression from the both the teams so far. And Nestor also finished up a boots of travel. Really? Trying to do his best to catch something right on top of the bar. Okay, Bam Bam is gonna connect and with the help of the bad lamb. The shadow down, the damage wasn't enough, but the one more right click would do the trick over there. Venom had the finger up there. Do manage to get a kill on this line. Oh, uh, sorry, Dark Willow. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> Lion is on the finger, but still the dead Esterosa, who's the one who got the kill on top of the Dark Willow as well. Mm-hmm, Cancer has a chance with the help of the AP, managed to get a kill on the slicer. So even though he fought up his rage, he didn't have any creep in the nearby, so he couldn't use up his infest or right on top of, any, of anything. So he's gonna die just like that. That's so sad, but he's a small play. Roll, not gonna connect for the jungle. Luna has nobody to help this agent PO here. Billy actually tried to TP towards the mid, but guess what? He still have a lasso. Is gonna try to make make as much as he can before the fireplace runs out for him. Try, trying to use the sterilize to help things around, but Shadow Shaman is there to help his teammate. But no control, he can't catch up to the Estros. This guy has like a lot of MS. But Estros, this guy, oh no, Mirana is dead at the top with the help of the vacuum and the wall combo. Once again, Mirana, I how is this guy even dying with all? Oh, he even used up all of his leaf charges. But once again, at the mid. Oh no, Billy gonna get caught up and under the serpent snake once again. Control. Managed to get a kill on the stock below again. So I'm gonna give up the DD, so it's gonna pick up just like that. I rip the. And then since the uh, raiding creams is, is like 
it's literally aggroing towards the top they may have an idea that there, there might be a ward over here so uh, i think he might try to deward it no i don't know it's not it's gonna do it i guess So a little bit of a late dragon line but still fine something is up for the agent piece luna and they're looking for a quiet for trouble at the ancient camp they try he tried to do a ward up at the ancient camp the triangle camp a trip top but they're not gonna allow weight over here radiant team like all five people is lurking around the triangle camp for the ngu all right tier to tower cancer he's there he even built up a boots of travel and sand king uh, have a wood of mask maybe is he gonna go for an off train core or something hey, maybe getting a eternal shot i guess all right a fight happened in the mid i'm still gonna go as well as well so looking for a particular right on top of the carry over here they had the moonlight shadow with the invisible they can't actually go on right up top of anyone right now still have a lasso they gonna, if, if they had a detection the luna might have gone down already but when am oh he had a four step but then he's gonna get caught up with have belay try to try to catch up the core over here shadow rim the damage is it enough though vacuum Coming up with the toxic play, okay, I do manage to get a kill on this uh, bat and he tried to save his with the counter initiation, but it's not gonna be enough either. Cancer dropped in the safety center, no one's gonna get caught up, only the Billy. But then Venom, is he gonna get caught up? Yeah, Agent P finally not gonna get the kill either, but the cancer with the arrow strike, the damage was just enough. Okay. Alright. Looking up for a mid tower, uh, they even dropped down the snake from the Shadow Shaman and with the help of the siege card, they can easily take this tower if they want but then are they gonna get a glyph? Yeah, they're gonna get a glyph in the less than 5 seconds but then with the, with the magnetized right on top of the cancer over here, couldn't be able to use this uh, um, bar of strike but guess what? Oh ho, bad red, do manage to get the, get the Shaman in the back lines over here, he came all the way from the flank and he actually caught this guy with a stick in a palm vision. So really well played by him as well, showing up the decoration. Uh, they managed to defend the Steve on tower. Paris trying to get the raiding team Steve on tower instead. But Lu uh, Mirana, he's there. He already finished with the maze song, but is it gonna be enough for him though? Venom with the four stack play. He's gonna use the earth pack right on top of the Mirana. Of course, he'll use everything on top of him. Belay with the terrorist, can't, can't save his core teammate. And with that being said, tier 1 tower is gonna fall down for the raiding team. The glyph wasn't enough. Entire diet team, like the firemen, it's, it, they're literally over here. And they trying to make sure of this, uh, make sure to use of this night time with this bat rider. He's gonna go for a BKB though, Hesterosa. But I think like the SK, he might need a blink dagger if he wants to initiate with his teammates over here. But it's gonna go for some idea. Even went for the Augur Axe, I'm not sure like what he's gonna go for still. All right, Hex right on top of the Earth Pit over here. Gonna, he's been showing a lot of info here. But can't back him into the wall of the replica combo as well as the rolling boulder. Managed to get a kill only on top of the Shadow Shaman, but. He can actually try to go on top of the mirror now. The urn charges wasn't that much of a damage. Maddox in the bottle. Uh, he won't be dying for this. But Sand King, he's dead in the mid. So Doxy finished up a mag gun. Almost, yeah, he even got up a pipe. So this guy is super farmed. Let's look at the network chart real quick. So Bat Rider is at the right at the top of the network chart over here. Part of the Doxy and the LS. And Luna still. Trying to reach up the sound key. For the top, they once again managed to find, find out the Luna. Whereas he's been farming up near the jung own jungle over there, and there's no way he can escape from the lasso on top. Fakelin going up for the West Point Gold players. Now it's the gamers. And we'll go with the pass over here. Okay guys, I think we're gonna have so our first yeah. first quiz 
of TNT or Betty sees it for collector's cash what? enchantress set. Okay. The question is, what does <laughs> what does WBSEDCL what? stand for? WBSEDCL. The dire team is WBSEDCL gamers. What does the WBSEDCL stand for? Put your answers in YouTube chat and of course from all the winning answers we'll randomly shuffle and select a winner and that person will get the collector's cash enchantress set. Are you sure is that does that even even expansion? Yes. Hundred uh. <laughs> percent. Well anyway, the raiding team they have doesn't have any initiative item though, but still gonna go for the five max uh, five max smoke play over here. When I'm had the four, four stab play over there, arrow not gonna connect on anybody in the bottom stack with uh, right on top of the line over here. When I'm trying to do as best though, but Eclipse has been dropped down right on top of everybody over here, but it's gonna be enough damage. Uh, it's, uh, oh my god, five man man is right on top of everybody on the, uh, the radiant team over here. It's gonna be triple kill on the SRS are trying to. I mean, he might actually get a rampage over here. Cancer! Oh, 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 the flame damage wasn't there though. But Cancer do manage to get that kill at least on top of the earth bird. Like, even the dogs here, as well, the line has gone down. But it's, it's gonna be a five man wipe for the NGU. Esterosa, this is a really well played from the Adripta, bro. He quickly used the magnetized right side on top of everybody out there. The damage was just too high with the help of the Firefly as well. They can't even move out of anything with the vacuum as well. And with that potential fight, and with, uh, since they uh, since the diet team won that, they easily made sure to get the tier one tower at the top. And Leo, he finished up a Maysom and what did he finish? Okay, he's gonna go for an S and Y onto this life stealer. Luna not really having a happy day, happy game over here with the fire deaths. Right on top of him, still struggling to finish up the Manta style. It's already turning minute mark for him. But Mirana is like, yeah, buddy, take those Ram brands and chill. To him, Estrosa gonna look for a uh, scan, but maybe he's gonna retreat all the way i guess the look at the diet team they they're gonna go for another smoke play over here we're not gonna use up a four staff already hex gonna connect rolling but not gonna connect though but that comes a one shadow do they have a detection they have a sentry just in case we're gonna use up the fire finger of death and do manage to get a kill with the help of the vacuum over there doxy player over here and luna dc again Bile, he was there to save his team with the great terrorize. Only three of them got caught, but the dogs, he, he came like uh, as the last person from the small play over there. So he managed to use the vacuum and the Luna dead, who had only low HP. Well guys, the winner for the previous giveaway question, the correct answer is West Bengal State <laughs> Electricity Distribution Company. The answer was given correctly what? by Ganesh Ravi, <laughs> Ankit Singh Patel and SSK. Ganesh Ravi gave it first, SSK mm -hmm. second and Ankit third. Based on role, we have found the winner to be SSK for the Enchantress Collector's Cash Giveaway set. So congratulations SSK. Please message us after the game for the Ench set. I really like how West Bengal, are, I mean, WBSEDCL are playing with each other. 
I feel like their teamwork is really, really good. Like their gangs are good, their smokes are good, their like team fight is really good. Uh, just really items are good, good item choices also. I think they're playing really well with each other. Yeah, and this bad rider pick, it's totally insane for the diet team. I mean, it's not even given the yearly tempo for the dating team. There's Luna, he's trying his best to form like even in the, or like the diet jungle. He's not even safe in his own jungle over there. He's been constantly getting ganged up by the earth spirit and with the bat rider as well. Even sometimes it's Zarks here, he's, he's moving out of his own lane and coming all the way for the smoke play to catch up this Luna as well. And even in the late game, I don't think the Luna has even any potential to uh, like a man up and fight this wall of replica from the doxy is gonna be like it's gonna show like give up a lot of damage you know Yeah, so once like he lands up his wall of replica right on top of the luna it is it, it will be like a 6v5 for the dire That means what? Team. <clears throat> like they've been struggling with the no initiator in the team so far. If SK even bought up a blink dagger by now, they could have, uh, they could have easily killed this bad rider every time he tries to over engage with this team. Maybe like Butter Strike into Arrow, and there's nothing he can do with that as well. If they want to go for a like extra follow up, even the terrorist is the Billy with the 7 KDA. 754 has been doing incredible incredible job for the radiant team but then the Luna is hanging really 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 hard yep but also we don't want to bore our viewers with the uh, static screen so we'll switch into the team cards and be back when the game resumes <laughs>
And the 4v5 is gonna continue for the NGU gaming just like yesterday. Well, this time though, it's, gonna, it's like the 20 minute mark from them. Yep, unfortunately, once again, W. No, NGU. Have NGU. NGU carry as DC'd once again. And they have used up all their pause time, so now the game will have to continue 4v5. Definitely not ideal, but the rules are the rules. Two supports of the NGO is in a weird position over here. Control. Oh, actually, gonna use the turn that things are on over here. Yeah, but even he's gonna get caught up right now on the, the notch of the serpent wall. But there comes a three man vacuum wall on everybody on the raiding team over here. But Adrika still having a launch on the right on top of him, though he's gonna go right under the Serpent's watch now because they get to die over there so that the Mirana won't get the kill. But they still do manage to get like a three kills over here before the rest of the four <coughs> for the uh, Radiant team falls down over here. The Oxier player still staying super strong. And Leo, the man, um, since everybody is there, is gonna try to take this tier to tower by himself. So I've been like talking about early like how this Venom's Lions uh, four staff wouldn't be helpful for any initiations, but then this guy he's been using the four staff for aggressive initiations only uh, but then now he finished up a blink dagger and now I wonder how much he's gonna be giving so much impact for the diet team over here he haven't even used up the uh, poster for even any like uh, say like a saving mechanism for for this team completely using it for aggression oh. Cancer is finally gonna finish up his Agnem Scepter for his CSK and still like need 1k gold to make that one happen. Currently the top network for the dead in red in team over here, SK. Sandstorm and the boots at all, I think he can show the lanes in a and give a lot of info for them, make them to force the diet team to go to go on him but then he still doesn't have like a blink dagger or something to escape out of some people if they engage right on top of him over here but Esther also at the top okay you're gonna pop the moonlight shadow bkb has been part of to escape the terrorize but billy is gonna get oh my god nice post over here but then lasso 
He's gonna be right on top of the shard of Shaw, man. But then Cass is doing his best to pop his head to center. Go oh, right on top of the dark side. Oh, here, who doesn't have a lot of mana to use it? It's the a lot of replicas. Still have a stick charge though, but Control managed to get a kill on this Venom with the Swell Summon Boss. So the Shackle combo here. Scans, uh, Mantis has been popped down. The deepest damage is self who too high, and he's gonna go down as well. But Leo is, 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 is literally there to make things right with the raw damage from him. Whereas the Radiant team missing out those raw damage dealer. It's so sad that the agent pay is disconnected for them. And it seems like Belay is uh, on a mission. He queued up an Hagnam Scepter to carry this, this game all by himself. But let's see if he's gonna finish this uh, item in time though. Oh, oh, Luna, he, they are using up this hero to show the lanes of the main oh, here, are gonna be popped up and so he's doing his best to TP but then there comes a vacuum it's still fine at this point so they're gonna use up this Luna as some kind of a support hero to show the lanes to give some info it's like that it's gone for 40 Bill A, Bill A, can he make this happen? Got up a point boost up, he's gonna show himself right under the top, the top I mean at the top, but then Venom with the 4 star play once again gonna hex up this Dark Willow and he's getting constantly damaged up by the DPS of the Firefly but then Dark Willow, even he can't escape, escape from this mess over here We're now still having our time over here. Oh, oh, wait, what, what? Oh, oh, bad rider is now. Oh my god, this guy. He need to be aware of the Shadow Shaman's action shackle combo over there. He, he was so far away from his teammates and then he literally got wrecked over there. For his war extension. Control, not making any mistakes. So it's a support who's actually been leading at the NGU's team over here, having like a Lots of kills for them. The total kills as well. And Adripta is gonna go for a BKB. Good for one and oh, they already started up hitting on the Roshan over here. Agnes has been picked up in the dark sea with the extra HP increasing capacity. They'll be happy with this one. Like he'll, I think he'll be like using it on everybody since it's like a mini essence ring. And it'll be dealing a lot of damage as well. Whoever is nearby, Leo, watching towards the tier two tower. The man is the any way they can uh, defend this one. NGO, where yeah, they decide to stay this high ground tier three tower, I guess. In the ages, they will think about going towards the top. All man, uh, Adrita. Try to catch the Mirana, but it's gonna use up any spell for now. BKB has been picked up by the Mirana over here. Maddox can he deal the damage he really wants after this? Can he be the replacement for the Luna? Is he really wanted? Billy still need 1.5k gold to finish up the Sagnum Scepter. Um, there might still be a chance for the Radiant team once they finish up this fight. But the cancer is gonna bomb. It will be the initiative over here. There comes a four, a three man vacuum right on top of the three people and the finger of death instantly killing out everybody with these seas. And uh, the Shaman, there's nothing he can do as well. NGO. Is that gonna Oh! Oh my god, oh nice silence to do deal with the shackle over there. The manager killed the Luna as well. Triple kill for the dogs here. At this point the game is kind of over for the Radiant since everybody is dead and nobody has a buyback. They really need to finish one item like the SK finish up an item scepter. We revealed it that there and instantly on a got wrecked by the hex from the lion. Um <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do about this one since that past time is already over and it's just like they're gonna rest in this game and trying to end their suffering over here. The, since the bottom ranks have been gone, 
I'm gonna go for the tier 4 tower push over here. Where is the LIC left? Oh, bottom strike. Epicenter gonna go right under the two. Three people over here. The damage is just too high, but they're gonna go though. Yeah, the cost of I do manage to get splashed up and he's gonna buy back and come right on top of the oh oh life stealer is in a is in a perfect position but they have a ages terrorizes but it's gonna be used as a luna welcome back he reconnected but it's still staying up there the first layer has been dropped down for him rage is there he can he, he can infest on some of the grids over here but are they gonna rush onto this one though yep earth spirit as soon as he got infested, gonna roll back all the way towards the back. Oh, 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 oh my god, it's still soft. He's, in a, he's very low here, but then in first he splashed it out. The damage is too high, but cancer. He bought back for this person. The vessel damage is too high, so that's the five five. And Shackle, he tried to catch up the life sailor, but there's no way to save himself from the wrath of the life sailor damage from here. Yes, no, no, he is angry. Coming back to the fight with the help of the boost of travel in the nearby wave. and P. Oh. Okay, uh, oh, <laughs> pushing up the SS now, yeah, but then Mirana trying his best to deal up a lot of damage right, right on top of the airspace, trying to at least get this kill over here, be ready to use that, and then, you know, oh, okay, he's dead, alright, Bile. With no shadow, then even he's gonna go down as well, but guess what, he's finished up his hand except all, but where is his buyback though, but, like the five man wife for the NGO, but do they have enough damage to get this game done by hitting up the tier 4 tower? No, this is gonna TP back. Life Sailor. They're still thinking about this one. I mean, they still may have a chance for the, for the NGO team here. Like the Rock Below, he's back up in 50 seconds. And they still haven't pushed up any of the racks over here. Earth Spirit, that's a dieback on the Earth Spirit who tried to came for this fight the last time. But now Luna is back online. He finished up by S and Y. And Luna gonna get caught with the lasso if we really want to use it. But I think he's gonna even lose use of the lasso over here though. Gonna use by Eclipse, but the damage wasn't enough. He literally sustained every single damage from the Eclipse over there all alone. Sean, finish up the blink dagger. They're gonna lose the uh, mid drag though, but they still have one more drag at the mid. They might as well wait for their five men to come up. But then he's gonna catch with the line over here. Control arrow, not gonna connect, he's gonna pop his BKB. But it comes to the excellent two man battle strike over here. With the, with the help of the, the, the terror, I surrounded up two, two people. That's it, he couldn't even use up any of, any of his spells. It's gonna go down just like that. Shaman, dead though, but then. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, Ezra, if he dies, oh, he's gonna be the die back for him. He's gonna go down, when I already used the finger of death, but then Dark Widow, he didn't die for this. In first, right on top of the line over here, he's gonna get his blink, and the bonus is not gonna get connected over there. When I do manage to blink out out of this hell, Radiant, they are back. Yet, like the right here, like a 20k network, it's a die back onto this, on top of this uh, bad rider over here. So the Radiant team with one more Rax and uh, tier 3 tower left at the top, they still have a chance to do something out of this game for them. NGO strikes back. And with all of the skills, even Mirana he needs a crystal likes, but then you can actually go for a shot if you want. It gives a mini uh, crit as well. The damage might be enough. But that goes to the BKB too. Alright, SK. Now probably decide to go for some utility items. It's gonna get a hood, maybe a pipe later on. Maybe after a pipe, you can actually get, uh, like, sustain all the damage from the Firefly of the Bat Rider. But. There is still an amount of damage only he can absorb over there. Uh, and the firefight duration is just too high. This guy has an octane core as well for the bat rider Estorosa, and he went for the flaming laser cooldown instead of the firefly duration, which means he won't be having the infinite firefly. I've seen people who went like the octane core and the spell preserve. If we get one, like the firefly, it won't even stop. It will have like infinite, infinite amount of duration. Alright, Diet team, they feel something is wrong, so it's gonna make sure that they will get this win to by themselves. So it's gonna go for a smoke play over here. this is the right target they want, but Bilay with the fast hand, make sure to use of the hex. He's gonna dodge at the earth pack as well. 
And just like that, he's gonna get away from this mess. Cancer is dealing up. Oh, oh Barasai not gonna get connected though. He, they have the... They all know back here right on top of this bar. SK, oh, he literally missed on, onto the top. And even Sh Shaman. With Milana, literally everybody is dying out of anyone around the map over here. But even Luna, Dark Willow, they are the only guys alive over here right now. But the wall has been dropped on. Agent Page, Eclipse, no, never mind. The damage is not, it's just too high from the lifestealer as well as the Doxier. Oh, yeah, we have 27 kills for the bad rider. I think that's gonna be the end of the game over here. Yeah, GG has been called from the NGU. They can't take it anymore. And the West Bengal gamers. That victory though, it didn't end up like fair and square, but still, they got the points they wanted.